<sighs> oh, shit. Damn, why you looking at me like that, bruh? Damn, all quiet and shit. Man, y'all hella weird. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Love C. Shout it. Back with another video today, man. Got a damn off for y'all boys, man. I know y'all ain't seen me in a minute, man. It's been months. How y'all feeling, by the way, man? Y'all doing all right? I'm doing amazing, dawg. I'm having a beautiful 2021, man. And I hope it's going the same for you, man. I'm just I'm, I'm just happy, dawg. I'm so happy, man. I'm really feeling myself these days, you know what I'm saying? We getting things done, dawg. We finally getting there, man. I apologize for being away for so long. I ain't got no excuses for it. I just ain't been feeling like posting a video. But... I still been on my grind. Just because you don't see me here don't mean that things ain't getting done. Now, if you was following me on Instagram, you would have been unseen the progress that I made on the game already. But for those of you who are just too lazy to get on Instagram and follow a nigga or you just don't have an account, I'm about to let y'all in on some of the progress that I've made in the past three months. I've made so much progress that I'm gonna have to split this up into a couple of videos. I can't do it all in one video or it's gonna be like a 20 minute video, bro. And I know y'all ain't with that. So without further ado, let's get into it. Last video, I was telling y'all how I couldn't differentiate headshots and body shots because I had one collider on the player that was detecting all collisions. Well, I found a small temporary solution to that. So the collider that was detecting those collisions, I made that collider smaller so it could just cover his torso so that would detect the body shots. For head damage, I added a sphere collider to the head area so that when the hand goes through that trigger, it would trigger a head animation. That little idea worked out well for a little while, but of course I had to go in and find a more optimized way to do this because it was creating inaccuracies and inconsistencies in my targeting system. Perfect example, if you hurt a guy to the head and he's leaning to the side, the targeting system is still aiming for his head, but his collider is still up here. So anytime I would hit his head when it was outside of the collider, it wouldn't register because the collider's up here. I'll tell y'all how I fix that in the next video. With that being said, I finally got into my UI system. The game now has visual health bars. The only one that's working right now is the one for the dummy. But I got a dope ass health system going now, bruh. So, I don't know if any of y'all have ever played a game called Urban Rain. It was on PS2 and it was made by Namco, which is the people that make the Tekken game. I was trying to tell you, bit nigga. I'm trying to tell you, big nigga. <laughs> Hold up, big nigga. Oh, shit. You caught me. Oh, shut the fuck up, little nigga. Shut the fuck up, little nigga. <laughs> nigga. Shut the fuck up, little nigga. We run this. We run this. Come here, little nigga. We run this. Come here. Come here. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh shit. Come here, little nigga. <laughs> Their attack system implemented a targeting system, meaning that you could attack the legs, attack the torso, and you could attack the head. And the damage done to those regions influenced your total health bar. So that means the more shots you take to the head, the more the damage multiplies on your total health. So if your head is in critical damage, but your body isn't, you gotta guard your head more than anything because your head is gonna be what's gonna get you killed the fastest. I implemented that same damage system. I have a health for the head and a health for the body. The more shots you take to the head or body, the more the health of that region is gonna go down. And the lower that health is, the more damage is gonna be dealt to your total health. It's gonna multiply. Dope, right? I also added a stamina system. You gotta watch your stamina, bruh. So the stamina depletes after every punch you throw. If you let your stamina get too low, your movement speed and punch speed is gonna drop dramatically. So don't go too crazy throwing these tough ass combos I put in there cause it's gonna be hard not to. I deal with it myself. This in my opinion is the most important milestone of this whole video. I finally got my punch targeting system acting realistically now. Last video I was telling y'all how that system was kinda glitchy because the hands were reaching for the player before the punch even got started. 
So I ended up putting the animation blending logic inside of an enum, which I know y'all don't even know what an enum is, so I don't know why I just said that. Stupid. The point is, it gave me the ability to put that punch logic inside of an event inside of the actual punch animation. So now the punch has to go through to a certain point for that logic to even take place. So the punches look hella realistic now. I even used that same logic to add a couple of sound effects in, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Just, just, just a little something like that, just so it, just so it sounds like a boxing game. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. I got a couple of little head ass sound effects in there that I got off YouTube, man. Just, just, just for now. You know what I'm saying? Just so when I'm testing the game out, I'm not just playing this silent game because it just makes it boring. Sound effects is what really brings the game to life. But one of these days, I'm going to go hook up with my boy Logan Greenwood, man. And we actually going to get a studio session going to where I can record all the sound effects. I'm talking about breathing, grunts, smacks, punches, anything that you're going to hear when two niggas scrapping. This is the last thing we're going to talk about before I go because I don't want to give y'all too much in this video. Last video, I was telling y'all how I had the left stick movement finally figured out, but the animations that was attached to the left stick weren't transitioning smoothly in between each other. He was just snapping between animations, and I didn't like that. So I finally figured out how to smooth that, but I'm having a problem, and I don't know why, because for some reason, it's only working on the negative side. If I move to the left and I move backwards, the animations move smooth as hell, but when I move forward and to the right, he's still snapping in between animations and it makes no sense because I added the same logic to both sides. It's literally the same logic backwards. I don't get it. Why you why you why you be trolling me, bro? Like you you just really be trolling me sometimes. You a real piece of work. Yeah, that's my Tony Baker impression right there, boy. Don't add me. But anyway, that's it for the video, man. I hope y'all boys enjoyed it, man. If you did, leave a like, man. Like I said, bro, the next video, we gonna get into a lot more stuff, man. I had to hold back, man, because I don't want to give it all away in one video. But the next video, we gonna talk about how I optimized this head body damage system, make it look a whole lot more realistic and a whole lot more accurate with the punches, you know what I'm saying? And also, we made a lot of advancements to the movement system. Oh, man, this shit finna be gravy, bro. Now, if you want to see a preview of it, man, you can follow me on Instagram. Like I said earlier, man, I don't know why y'all ain't following me, bro. You can already see where the game is at already. I'm always posting small clips on Instagram from my cell phone just to, just to show the day-to-day -day progress of the game, man. You know what I'm saying? Just to let people know I'm out here working, dog. I'm out here working, man. I'm feeling good, dog. And I, I'm so happy right now, bro. The main reason I'm happy, bro, is because I'm finally... I'm finally doing what I was meant to do, man. I've been wanting to develop video games since I was a kid, bro, and I just never got into it, man. And I'm just, I'm finally doing it, dog, and it feels so good, bro. And, and it's actually coming together. Like, y'all are about to get y'all hands on this real soon. I've almost got it to a point where I'm willing to let y'all test it out so I can see what I need to change about it, dog. We are almost there. So anyway, like I said, leave a like. Follow me on Instagram, bro, and I'll see y'all boys in the next one, bro. Peace. Who? Get off me. Get off me, nigga. Oh, put it down, big nigga. Pick that shit up, Kurt. <laughs> oh. Don't mess with my hammer. Don't mess with my hammer. Fuck wrong with you, man. <laughs> Getting too close to my shit. Oh, dang. Get the hammer! Somebody get the hammer! Mm -mm. Oh. Kurt ain't having it. Kurt ain't having it. Kurt ain't having it. Now Jeff ain't having it. Oh. Kurt ain't having it. <laughs> get up, nigga. Get up, nigga. Oh, oh, nigga. We ate that shit up, bruh. <laughs> we ate that shit up, little bruh. Couple bands made me took off in the socket. Ain't fucking chopper, I'ma hit him with a rocket. Nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. Senorita, help me come up on the profit. But the devils and the demons try to stop it. Hey, you can hit me, but you love him how I rock it. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do this nigga, man, no. 
Yeah, like you said, you know they say you can go.